What's going on guys? I am Matthias. Before the video begins, I wanted to give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion right out of buying tickets. They put all the tickets in the same place, then put a zero to hundred score to let you know whether you're getting a good deal or a bad deal. I have the app on my phone and it's honestly like the easiest way to get tickets for anything from concerts to sports games. Now here's the sweet deal, all right, for all of you guys specifically, all right? You guys get $20 off on your next ticket purchase. It's pretty awesome. All you have to do is use the code Matthias when checking out, all right? So make sure you click that link down in the description below and remember that code Matthias. Ah, now on with the rest of the video. You look so funny. Your lips are just <laughs> protruding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ew! What's going on, guys? I am Matthias, and welcome to 10 Tech Items that may waste your money. That Brian, yes, Brian is back! Brian from Team Edge picked out. If you're not familiar with Team Edge, click that info card right up there. We do some dope challenges. Yes, sometimes I attend them and it's fun. Usually I win them. Mm. And the last one I just had to bounce out early though. I didn't even get a chance to win, dude. Sarah was watching, she's like, did he just leave? <laughs> Guys, if you want to see the challenge that we're referring to, info card right up there. Now, I got something special for you guys today, okay? Tis time to click the bell icon. Make sure you click it to get notified of my videos because I comment back within the first 30 minutes. Huzzah! <laughs> That's so loud. Also, just wanted to let you know that if you are interested in any products in this video, links to them are in the description down below and it helps out the channel if you want any of these. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know, that's up to you, am I right? Oh, first item. 4M Doodling Robot. A doodling robot. I've always wanted a doodling robot. You know what I mean? You're too lazy to doodle yourself? Yeah, it's <laughs> just like, I'm way too lazy. I'm like too bored of doodling myself where I, I gotta just have a robot doodle for me, right? This is like, this is the mark of the future. You know, when people are too bored to just be bored, you know? That's, that's elite status. <laughs> robot doodle for me. Doodle for me. I want some doodles, robot. Also bring me some cheese. Oh, I thought it just got impaled for a second. Oh, oh all over your pants. No, <laughs> there's nothing there. I mean, <laughs> all right, let's get this. Uh, let's let's see what this doodling robot's all about. Looks like it has good reviews, right? But who's buying it? That's what I want to know. How much of the robot do they actually assemble? It takes about an hour to assemble. Ah! Fun, easy project. So that's the project. The project is more about building it and assembling it rather than seeing the, the crappy circles that it can make. <laughs> but let's see what kind of crappy circles we can make with this, dude. Add to cart. Oh, the slamming of the products. He's back. Instructions? I don't need no instructions. Assemble! I assume what you do is you put the thing through the thing. Yeah? Oh, do you want the instructions? All right, so I'm just inserting the pens and then we're gonna be able to get some doodles. Oh, relax, dude. You're gonna write all over my desk. Oh, I just oh. wrote on my desk. No, off of my desk. Ah, ah. That, I mean, that definitely constitutes as a doodle. There we go, we're, we're getting something. And you suck, Oh. If you wanna teach kids about, you know, some very simplistic robotics or vibrations, <laughs> this is a perfect product for you, you perv. Or if you just want some really crap doodles. I would have to say, is that this waste? Hydra Hydra Smart Bottle, Hydra Hydra Smart. Why, why? <laughs> Hydra, Hydra, Hydra Smart. Hydra, Hydra, Hydra Smart bottle. Why no, three times? No, it's the name of the, the the brand, Hydra, and they're calling it the Hydra Smart bottle. It's still Hydra twice. Okay, no, name of the brand is up here, the name of their first product, and the name of the iteration of their first product. So it's the Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. So what is this? A Bluetooth speaker, a speakerphone, retractable spout, Recharge dock and safety party LEDs. I love it when anyone puts an LED in an item, they always call it party LED. Everyone's always trying to party with LEDs. You wouldn't want to party with LEDs. Who's partying with LEDs? Last time you had a party, 
Did I see one LED? You're doing it wrong. Next time I come to your house and you throw a party, bro, it better have LEDs. I didn't invite you to the last party. They... <laughs> <laughs> Did it have LEDs though? Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. They, everyone loves this bottle, right? Add the cart, I'm, I'm interested. Bonus, alternate bottom. Oh. I love having an alternate bottom. You know what I mean? Sometimes you've been sitting down all day and you're like, where's my alternate bottom? This one's sore, can we replace it? Oh, here we go, here's all the features. A powerful speaker, 6,000 milliliter hydration, BPA free lighting system. Oh yeah, the party LEDs, that's right. Okay, let's try it out. You're so unimpressed with this item already. I'm so unimpressed. No, it might actually be an interesting item and it might have, oh, where's my extra bottom? Well, this extra bottom is disappointing. I think this bottom is much better because this bottom is chargeable. Looking at this right now, this honestly appears to be high, uh, well made. It feels like good materials are being used in this. No joke. You could take this off and recharge it later, maybe. That's the Bluetooth part. Oh, this is the that's the party LEDs in there. Let me turn up some party. Let me turn up, dude. Oh, oh. oh. We got some water coming, dude. In there. That's the party. That's the party LED. Put water in it? Yeah, let's put some water in it. Ooh. The LED is legit flashing right now and you cannot even see it. Ah, this is the water bottle portion, right? And then you have all these tops and bottoms. Here's the speaker portion or the speaker phone. Then you have the LED. Really, the LED, I don't know about that. Oh, whoa. Oh. oh, dude, now I feel like a party. But it's like, it's so, so dim. It's so dim. Hydro smart bottle active. <laughs> Bluetooth active. Dude, she's like singing a song. She's auto-tuned, dude. <laughs> she's auto-tuned, dude. This bottle is auto-tuned, man. Let's get some music in here, Mike. If you guys don't know Mike, he's the, he's the lead audio engineer at Hi-Fi Studios. He's also DJ Michael Badal. So Mike, Give me some music with this, dude. I'm friends with the creeper. This isn't nearly as good music. World. You can call me a weirdo, a loser, a I'm on an oh. iPhone. Where have the bars gone? I These are all my music all my musics. So that's a skip button and not maybe I gotta hold down. Okay, yeah, you hold to volume up. Volume at maximum. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. No, it's That's not. That's probably one of the better sounding Bluetooth speakers I've seen. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, I, I say this one uh, is tasteful. I say it's tasteful. Swagatron Swag Cycle. Dude, this one's hefty with some swag right now. Mm -hmm. E-bike, folding electric bicycle with 10 mile range. Ooh, 400 bucks. Look at those tiny little wheels. She doesn't seem to have a problem with it. She's looking down with lust. She's like, look at this bike. Mm. It's honestly kind of cool. I like the black, I like the gold. Guys, this one's a like to buy. <laughs> $400, light gold. What do you think, dude? 50,000. You. you want me to buy it because you're buying one? Maybe we can ride together. No, Please I say a hundred thousand. I say a hundred thousand because I'm not sure that's expensive. And I know I, I want to know if people actually want to see this because they might not want to see it. So guys, a hundred thousand and I'll buy it. Low light goal. That, that's because me and Brian kind of want it to begin with. So we're hoping that you guys are interested so we can make a video about it. But we'll hold that off for later. All right, next item. Five second fix liquid plastic welding kit. Fix, repair, and seal anything in about five seconds. What about Brian's mouth? Am I right? Boo! See what I mean, dude? That's a perfect use for this. I can just seal your lips up. <laughs> that thing doesn't have enough glue to seal these lips. <laughs> Those are some mud flaps, dude. Joey called Brian's lips mud flaps in like, what, a Team Edge video? We did a video where there was a leaf blower blowing to my face and my lips were like, <laughs> If you guys want that video, that's up there too, dude. Subscribe to Team Edge, good dude, this stuff. This is a hardcore. Hardcore Team Edge promotion today, dude. So I, I've, I've seen this before, it's kind of cool. Basically you, you put all the goop there and then you use a UV light, I believe, to harden it. 
What? No, no kidding. It's like plastic that hardens with UV light. Cause look, they're not really clear about it, but I'm pretty sure that's a UV light. Pretty sure. But let's weld some stuff, man. Add the cart. <laughs> what the? Oh, what? There's no cup to this one. <laughs> no, it <laughs> caught all the air underneath it, and you couldn't slam it because the air had to still move out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to slam it, but couldn't. It was just boom, poof. Yeah, see, that's UV light. UV light right there. Five second fix. Liquid plastic welding tool. That's really cool. Bonds plastic, wood, metal, glass, fabric, and more. I feel like I would have a million uses for this around the office. You know what I mean? Let's test this puppy out, man. What, what, what do we have that's broken right now that I can fix? I got some headphones here. Here's what we're going to do. Breaking. There we go. Oh no, it's a broken. <laughs> What am I gonna do? It's not gonna work. I try to put this on and it just flaps off. <laughs> All right, so we have this here. And I, I, I assume I squeeze some goop. The idea here is that I'm gooping on a bunch right there. That's precision right there. Nothing's gonna happen until I shine that UV light on it. Okay, and now we UV light this behemoth. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, dude, that worked. That was it. Now it's hard. What? It's not hard in all spots, so you have to do it all around. It just didn't really bond it. It just, honestly, it just fell off. Look, see this? You didn't attach the plastic. It definitely hardened. I think, here's the thing. I think there's a strategy to it. Oh, wow, that was really weak though. I think there's a strategy to it, and it's very dependent on, on how you do it, but I think the issue is you have to use globs and globs for like one little thing. I want to actually give it a fair test here. Well, the test is five seconds. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that's true. Poo! I wanted it to work so bad, but it is not, it is wasteful. Guys, if you tried this, let me know down below what it's actually worked on because that didn't work. <laughs> Click sticks, smart deodorant. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Brian likes it because I get so shook when uh, when they make smart products that don't need to be smart. Like, you just like rubbing your armpit and you're like, my deodorant's so stupid. <laughs> I wish I had a smart stick. I wish I had a smart stick. What's it gonna say? <laughs> enough. Oh. You have applied enough deodorant. Or, ooh, you need more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're stinky. Please apply second coat. Okay, I don't even know why it's smart yet, but let's find out. Smart refillable deodorant antiperspirant. Only buy once and refill it with affordable cartridges. Are they serious <laughs> right now? <laughs> like this must be like the cartridges that output the, that gooey deodorant oh, that I hate. I'm, I, I like the deodorant that's like you- Powderish? Yeah, more powderish kind of. It's like, it's got a texture, but it's it's solid, right? It's you're, not goop. You're talking about stuff that go, comes through the holes? Like yeah, that's I think what this might be. Someone that designed this had the issue of like, I never get the right amount of deodorant ever. Uh, He's getting shook. I'm getting shook, guys. Thirty-two dollars. Oh. Let's give it a shot. Add the cart. Oh, sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, that felt good. Ooh. So is this it, or is this just a sweet little case? No, that's just a. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Plastic. Oh. Plastic. Like, if you're gonna sell like a thirty-five dollar stick of deodorant, like make it metal. What? Hold up, hold up. That's... That's it. That's what they're selling here. What we have in here is a little LED light to make it look cooler. And smart. And uh, a little thing that when you press, twists. So it twists an exact precise amount every single time that triggers with the gear inside this, right? Okay, so if I click the button, you see how each one of these is different? Each one output a different amount. It's just not even working right. That middle, it just doesn't even work. It just doesn't work. Oh. I'm sorry, this is bad. That's a bad one. Woo! That's good fine. Good fine. Warm space. Oh no, no, no. Worst word to start out with. Worst word to start out with. That's the name of their company? Stop! Oh, okay, cool. It's just it's just a bad translation. See these these characters right here, these Asian characters, um, uh, Japanese, Chinese. I actually don't know. It's probably just a they translated their company. 
their company name in English into warm space. Okay, what would it be though? The space that is warm is what they were trying um, to say? No, they maybe like <laughs> I'm trying to give I'm trying to figure that out, dude. Better heated insoles. So they're supposed to keep your feet warm, right? And you wear the battery around your ankle. It, it has a slight resemblance to uh, you know, house arrest. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just walk around, keep your feet warm. If people start running away from you because they think you're breaking your house arrest, forget about it. Let's heat up my warm, my cold space. Add one the cart. Warm space. Warm spaces. Multifunctional electric heating product series. These kind of things slightly scare me. Okay, so like short circuit and Yeah, and yeah, especially putting one like in your shoe. Like, I would advise you guys to never use a product like this, right? Because these products have potential to short circuit and burn you, right? I mean, it's enough that we already put phones in our pockets. People get burned from phones all the time just because their phone short circuits and then heats up the battery and kaboom! This ought to trigger you a bit when a package is like in, in this bag, right? I'm pretty sure these are like bags to prevent any sort of leakage of harmful toxic materials or maybe it's just an anti-static bag. I don't know. That's it. You put the battery in here on your wrist. Bada bing, bada boom. On your ankle, I thought. On your ankle, yeah, on your wrist. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's plug these puppies in. <laughs> I hate you. It's warming them up. It's definitely warming them up. Yeah, and the other thing that also shakes me up is the fact that you cut this, right? And it feels like right up against here, right up against there, you could absolutely cut into whatever heating element is in there. No, see, it's only right here, so you can cut. No, look, feel this one. It's all the way out into the into the line. Ooh. That's why, like, I don't know, man. This is some weak heating of like, <laughs> ads. Uh, I'm gonna just say wasteful just because of the safety concerns. The American Red Cross Blackout Buddy H20 Water Activated Emergency Light Pack of Three. This is water activated, right? So supposedly when water touches it, lights up instantly. And it's I would assume it's waterproof then. So I would I would assume so. Environmentally friendly water activated magnesium oxide battery mo uh, module. Add water once per day. Wait, what? Oh, it's water powered. Add water once per day for up to 72 hours of continuous light. This light can be powered by water for up to three days. Cool, let's put this puppy to the test, see if that actually works. Add the cart. All right, let's test this puppy out. Let's see if this will actually work. This is actually good to know for you guys too, because I'm sure some of you in areas flood that flood, area. you yeah. know? And here's the thing, you want to be prepared. Always be prepared for anything that may befall you. So let's see, let's see. So this thing peels off like that. Bada bing, bada boom, and it's water activated. So if I dip this in water, we're gonna use this product and we're going to activate it. Oh, you see that? Slowly turn it on. That's pretty bright. Yeah, I mean, Let me turn off. No. that's, I mean, that's, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take it to the corner. I mean, here's the thing. We're in daylight right now and there's obviously light even coming in through the windows. So you can still see it. It's still providing light. I think, I think that's good. I think the, these are good. And for the price four four bucks a bulb. So you could technically have for your entire fan or let's say you have a family of three, right? You could have a flashlight, each one of them for an entire week if you have any sort of darkness situation. Tasteful, I say tasteful. Link down in the description below if you want to prepare yourself. Expand a lung breathing fitness exerciser used by Navy SEALs, athletes, and COPD patients. Best seven minute exercise to boost endurance. The number one choice of the LA Times review for athletes and respiratory care patients. Yeah, there you go. This basically exercises your lungs. It strengthens your lungs. You don't think so? No. Really? No. The Navy SEALs use it, dude. No, they don't. You don't think so? No. Let's find out, dude. dude Brian, they're Brian calls big. BS. All right, dude, add the cart. Hit me. All right, gu Gunner. 
Oh! <laughs> Second time I called you gunner. No! Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize, dude. Your selfies aren't that bad. So it's just a breathing restrictor. All right. So you can turn this this way for for less breathing, this way for more breathing. All right, Brian. I want you to try it. I already know how these things operate. Dude, look at those lips. You look so funny. Your lips are just protruding. <laughs> oh, ew! Ew, saliva. Dude, it tastes so bad. I had to get it out. I had to get it out fast. Wash before using your first time. Dang it. <laughs> Your this lungs. thing honestly made me super claustrophobic. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> claustrophobic. So, uh, like, that's why. I, that's why I turned it. I was like, <gasps> I saw you dry. Like, <laughs> man, that I did. I did not like that feeling. Uh, Brian says wasteful. Show me the proof. Make sure you click that big old subscribe button down below so it looks like this. Subscribe because you're gonna get these videos regularly. Full HD, 1080p, no blinking covert mini spy camera pen. Oh, it's a spy camera pen for the perverts out there. One button, easy use. Uh, okay, the little camera's in there. That's cool. This guy's super happy. Why, is, why are they all happy? If they're all so happy, why does he need to spy record anything? They're maybe all happy. He's, maybe he's dead inside and he wants to... Yeah, he could be. He could be dead inside. She looks dead inside, that's for sure. Add the cart. So the little camera, as you can see, right up there. I mean, that's pretty discreet. I would say that's... Yeah, it's pretty discreet. Is there a pen in there? That's the real question. Because if someone's like, can I use that pen? <laughs> You're gonna be like, no, <laughs> doesn't work. Why are you carrying it around then, weirdo? There we go. Yeah, it works. It just had a weird like little tip on it to probably prevent uh, leakage. Leakage. Yep, pen writes. Don't know why I tried that on my skin. Or is that the SD card right there? Yes. There's an SD card inside it. Put that in there. Bada bing, bada boom. And I assume one button operation should be pretty simple, right? Nope, not simple. How do you know it's working? I think these two things right here are supposed to be LEDs. Or microphones, bro. I'm a true pervert. Wait. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How is that covert when you have a red light flashing? It's not very bright. And you can really only see it if it's like directly. But now since it's on and I press this, now it's recording. <coughs> now this, I feel like no one would know. I was recording them if no. I was recording with this, right? So now, no, but see, hit it one more time. And now it's done recording. And then I hold it. What? I, I don't know, honestly. The only real way to test this is to actually take a look at that footage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is not what I expected. Cause I got like right off the bat, got a really creepy vibe because I was like, I don't recognize that keyboard. Cause the keyboard that I have on my desk right now is black. So I'm like, what am I watching right now? <laughs> that was Dave the ghost. Um, I, I believe he was testing these products to ensure quality. Um, I think that's what happened. So we do know it works. We just don't know how to work it. Okay, so let's try to get this puppy working. One, two, three. No, I don't think that's recording. Oh, maybe it was recording. Okay, are you recording now? Are you recording now? <laughs> okay, are you recording now? Are you recording now? It works. It works. I say tasteful for the perverts. Blah button features 12 hilarious blah phrases. The blah button is simply your best bet to get out of a boring conversation quickly and humorously. How interessante. Let's find out what those quotes are. Add to cart. Okay, so that'll end the conversation, I guess, right? <laughs> that doesn't, it's not clear enough. 
<laughs> that one got you. That one tickled you. That's because it just reminds me of J Fred, dude. <laughs> Alright. I can see the use. It's a little big. I'm sure you could come up with something a little smaller, keep in your pocket, you know? Ah, mm. uh, stay tasteful. Just for the fart noise. See that video right there? That is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. Will you? I don't know. YouTube thinks so. I, I don't know. Let's find out. Click it. See you over there. All right. High five.